Hello everyone. This video goes through the story of Assassin's Creed Origins in 49 before Common Era by Yek, a respected Magi. The nomadic desert ranger in charge of protecting the Siwa Oasis is abducted along with his son Camus by a group of five masked men to an underground vault in the Temple of Amun. The tasked men give Bayek a golden orb and demand that he use it to open a secret vault. Camus helps Bayek escape, but during a struggle to kill one of the masked men, Bayek inadvertently stabs Camus in the chest, killing him. One year later, Bayek had exiled himself from Siwa in order to track down five masked men to take his revenge. He finds the first one, Rudiek, the heron, and kills him. Bayek then returned to Siwa to kill the local priest, Medunamun, the Ibis, who has been torturing Siwans for information to open the same vault. After killing Medunamu, Bayek then heads for Alexandra, where his wife Arya has been tracking another of the masked men. Upon meeting Arya, she reveals that she has already killed Vulture and Ram, leaving only one target left, the snake. Arya also reveals that she has been working with Apollodorus and Cleopatra to uncover the snake's identity. She gives Bayek the very first hidden blade. Bayek discovers that the snake is Uterus, the royal scribe, and attracts him to a boss house. Then he kills him with the hidden blade, at the cost of his own left ring finger, cut off by the same blade. Uterus' last words make Bayek confused. So he decided to meet with Apollodorus and Cleopatra for answers. Cleopatra tells Bayek that she was ousted from the throne by the masked men, who call themselves the Order of the Ancients and seek to control all of Egypt by using Ptolemy as their puppet. In addition, there are four more members of the Order than the five Bayek and Arya had already killed. The Scarab, the Hyena, the Lizard, and the Crocodile. In fact, Uterus was actually the hippo, and the name of the snake is used to refer to the order as a whole. Confronted with this new information, Bayek agrees to become Cleopatra's Magi and assassinate the remaining members of the order. When searching for Scarab, Bayek gets help from a worker in Little Polis, Tahaka, who at first invites him to a meal with his families. However, Bayek began to pass out after drinking realizing that Tahaka was the Scarab. Bayek awakes, buried up to his neck in a desert, left for dead. After escaping with the help of his steed, he returns to Leto Polis, assassinating Tahaka as he is praying in a temple. Then Bayek finds the hyena underneath the Great Pyramid, whose real name is Kalisat, and who is seeking a master to resurrect the child with the sacrifice of the prisoners. She blames Bayek's disturbance, but is killed in the middle of the sandstorm outside the pyramid. The lizard is revealed by some hostage to have a blue stash and a terrible cough, who is identified as Hajipi by some priests. Then Bayek assassinates him in a great temple. The last one, the crocodile, is identified as Berenik, a ruthless woman who has killed a child by tying her feet to large rocks and submerging her in the waters, drowning her, only because she has discovered her corrupted deeds. Bayek finds her in her villa and kills her eventually. At the same time, Arya, alongside Foxiders, was sent to the Aegean Sea to secure an alliance with the Roman general Pompey, who was fleeing from Julius Caesar in the midst of the Roman civil war. 
They encountered the ships sent by Ptolemy the Eighth, who attacked Pompey's fleet to stop the alliance. Arya and Foxidus were able to rescue Pompey, who agreed to the alliance and make preparations to travel to Egypt. Bayek received a letter from Arya explaining that there are two more members of the order, the Scorpion and the Jacko, who are members of Ptolemy's royal guard and the likely culprits responsible for Camus' death. They find out that Lucius Septimius is the Jacko and attracts him, but it's too late to stop him from assassinating Pompey. With no other options, Cleopatra has Bayek and Arya help sneak her into the palace in order to meet Julius Caesar. Cleopatra is able to impress Caesar and secure his support. Ptolemy launches a last-ditch attempt to defeat Caesar and Cleopatra in the Battle of Nile. The attack is thwarted, and Portinus, the scorpion, is killed by Bayek alongside his war elephant. Septimius, the jackal, shows himself in a battle, who is a model Roman legendary. Believing him to be responsible for the murder of Camus, Bayek confronts him with fury. Septimius is defeated, but before Bayek is able to kill him, the legendary punches him in the face, and the two enter a struggle. Bayek is then subdued by Roman soldiers on the orders of Caesar, who proclaims that Septimius will be punished according to Roman law. Having lost the battle, Ptolemy is eaten by crocodiles as he tries to flee across the Nile. After the end of the civil war, Cleopatra takes the throne as Pharaoh. Septimius becomes an advisor to Caesar, and Cleopatra cuts ties with Bayek and Arya. Bayek and his supporters realize that Cleopatra and Caesar have now allied themselves with order. Regretting his mistake in supporting Cleopatra, Bayek gathers all of the allies he has made and decides to form a brotherhood to counter the order and defend the free will of the common people. Bayek and Arya record with great interest the order showed in the tomb of Alexander the Great and go to investigate. There, they find a mortally wounded applauderess who warns them that Caesar's lieutenant, Flavius Metellus, is the lion and a true leader of the order. He and Septimius have taken the orb and Alexander's personal staff of Eden from the tomb and are heading back to Siwa for the vote. Upon returning to Siwa, they find the vote already opened. Bayek tracks down and confronts Flavius, who now bears the activated apple of Eden. But Bayek is able to defeat and kill him finally avenging Camus' death. He then returns to Arya, who has recruited Brutus and Cassius to their cause. She plans to head to Rome with Brutus and Cassius to assassinate Caesar and Septimius. Sundered by the pots of blood and shadow and hollowed by the death of the child, Bayek and Arya decide finally to part ways, but cement the foundation of Assassin Brotherhood when they both swear to fight from the shadows to protect the world. As they part, Bayek discards the eagle's gold charm, a necklace of Camus. Arya picks it up and notices the impression it leaves in the sand, the icon of their new brotherhood. In Rome, Arya confronts Septimius, who wields the staff of Eden, and she defeats and kills him. She then infiltrates the theater of Pompey and assassinates Caesar with the aid of members of the Roman Senate. Later, he meets with Cleopatra and warns her to be a fair ruler, or she will return to assassinate her. Afterwards, Bayek and Arya, now calling herself Aminate, begin recruiting and training other assassin apprentices as they build assassin brotherhood in Egypt and Rome, respectively. <laughs>